Marching through the streets of Kampala with banners calling for press freedom, the journalists were accompanied by police with the message reading, we support press freedom. However, no matter how good this message is, it did not stop the journalists to condemn police brutality against innocent journalists. The police officers who knew me on 28th March could not only beat me, which beating we are used to, but he could go ahead and steal my, my money. Kaihura responded by blaming journalists for being partial and not responsible while covering the riots. They embed journalists with the sole purpose of taking images at particular angles, focusing on a policeman, and with the objective of distorting the image to show him in the wrong, even when he's not in the wrong. The Inspector General Police insists the videos taken by NTB when Ingrid Trinawe was being manhandled by police are doctored. Like those who arrested Ingrid in Nansen. <laughs> Absolutely, we are going to prove it to you. No, no, no. I'm just giving you a matter of hours and we shall show you. Yes, for us we are absolutely. No, uh, we are not propagandists. We are going to show you the video, the footage, and you'll see. He, however, acknowledges that there were mistakes committed by the police, but also asked journalists to do justice and give fair reporting to the police. While I don't intend to, that this becomes a ping pong, I acknowledge there have been mistakes in the police, and they will be there. The recent events where police were seen battering journalists had created bad blood between the force and the journalism fraternity. However, police believes it's time to turn a new page and create a cordial working relationship with the journalists as they go about their duty. Kaihura now wants journalists to go a step further by conducting investigative journalism to help police detect crime. The challenge of press freedom is not only in Uganda, this Eritrean journalist stormed the function with a picture of a man chained on the bed. The United Nations General Assembly declared 3rd May to be World Press Freedom Day to raise awareness of the importance of the freedom of press and remind governments of their duty to respect and uphold the right to freedom of expression enshrined under Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Hilara Isga, NTV.